What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to draw and color Huggy Wuggy from Poppy Playtime. Let's begin today's lesson at the top of our page with the top edge of the mouth. We're gonna start over on the left side. We're gonna draw a curve that comes down the middle and we'll bend that back up on the right. Let's round out the side of the mouth. Just pulling this back in. And we'll curve the mouth coming back down towards the bottom. So let's start on the left. So bending this down, and then come in towards the middle. I'm gonna round out the bottom, bend this out, and back up on the right. Let's trace the mouth along the inside. So we'll start on the top left, just follow that curve going all the way across towards the right side. Now on the left, we're gonna step in, come down along the left side towards the bottom, round out the mouth, and go up on the right. Let's place the tongue over on the right side of the mouth. Starting out here, start with the curve going up, and then down the center of the tongue. Step up, I'm just gonna fold this around, and pull that up. Step back down, draw a straight angle line coming down. Let's fill the inside of the mouth in black. Now with the mouth in place, let's move up and draw in the eyes. We start over on the left side. We're gonna draw an angled oval. Just gonna bring this down towards the top of the mouth. Go all the way around and back up. Let's take that eye and flip it over on the right. We leave a gap in between the eyes, starting from the top, come all the way down towards the bottom, and then back up. Now you want to trace the eyes along the inside, but we're going to push the pupils towards the inside of the eye. So start from the top, go all the way around, pull that in and up. And same thing on the right side. And then we'll fill the inside of the pupils. Let's go up to the top and draw in the eyebrows. We're gonna start on the inside on the left, curl this up, and then bend that down. Go over towards the right, go in the opposite direction. Now let's draw the outside of the head. In the center, we're gonna step over towards the right, start with a curve, going up, and then out towards the left. Go back to that center point, go up, and out towards the right. Let's add some fur across the top of the head. On the left, we're just gonna round this out and pull this in. Bring this out and down, and go back up. Let's do the same thing on the right. Just rounding out the end, pulling that in. And add one more point, coming down, and then up. Let's close off the left side of the head. Starting down here, we come down, come around the mouth, and just pull that in. Let's go to the right side. We're gonna start by bumping this out, come down on the inside, and then bend that down. Now we're gonna place the bow underneath the mouth, starting right in the center. Start with a circle. And then on the top left, draw the left side of the bow coming out, come down, and then back up. Let's take that bow and flip it over on the right. Going all the way around, towards the bottom, and then back up. Let's trace each side along the inside. Let's draw the ends of the bow, starting from the center of that circle, curve this out, and then down toward the left, bring this out towards the right. Now I'm going to flatten off the ends with two straight angle lines going up, and then just pull that back up underneath the bow. Now we want to round up the left side of the body. Start from the side of the bow, put this out, come down, and then in towards the hip. Let's go over towards the right side, curl the body coming down, bending that out. Add a point of fur, just rounding this out and pulling this in. Add one more, going down, and then back up. Now we're gonna leave a gap on either side and curve the lower part of the body. So we're gonna step in, curl this down, and then bend that up. 
Now you want to extend the left leg coming down towards the side. And start underneath the body. Start with the curve going out, come down, and bend that in. And then we'll add some fur along the bottom. Grinding this out, going up, add another curve, going down, and pulling that all the way up towards the top. Let's add in the toe. From this line, I'm just going to blend into a curve going all the way around and then down. Let's go to the top of the toe, draw the foot going up, round up the foot. I'm just going to bring this all the way around and down and just tuck that up underneath the fur. And then we'll separate the toe with two curves. Starting from the top, come down and in, step over and draw that again. Now let's go back up to the hips and draw the outside of the leg. Starting from the hip, we curve this down, go across. Now the leg's gonna get thicker as it comes down towards the bottom. Add a point of fur, come down and out in behind the foot. Now we move over and bend the right leg. Starting underneath the body, start with the curve going out, come down, and then we'll bend the leg coming up towards the ankle. Let's add another point of fur, in, and a smaller one just below. Now we're going to curve this one down, back up, and we'll add one more, and down and up toward the outside of the ankle. Now you want the leg to be wider along the bottom and just taper up towards the hip. So let's start down here, come down, round up the leg, I'm just going to taper this in and then bend that up underneath the fur on the right. Let's go to the top of the ankle, we're gonna draw the toe. Come around, and then down, round up the toe, and pull that back up. Let's bend the foot. From the bottom of that toe, come down and out, round up the foot, and just pull that back in underneath the fur. Let's separate the toes with two curves, starting on the left, and then the right. And now we're gonna move back up and draw on the arms. Let's start with the left arm. We're we'll gonna start underneath the head on the left side. Start with the curve going up, bending that out, round up the arm, and then pull that up towards the wrist. Let's add some fur across the wrist. Rounding up the top, coming down, add another curve. And it's gonna work our way towards the left side of the wrist. Two smaller ones, then add one more on the outside. Now just like we did with the leg, the arm is going to be wider along the wrist. So we start at the top, just follow that curve coming down, coming in, and then down in behind the body. I'm going to place the hand in behind the wrist. We'll start from the bottom, curve the hand going out, and then down, round up the hand, go up, and then down across the top. Let's place the thumb in behind. We're going to step back, curve up, and then in. Round up the thumb, and come down in behind the wrist. Let's add a fold across the palm with a curve going out and then down. And we'll separate out the fingers, starting across the bottom, coming in towards that line. Add one more across the top. Now let's move over and draw on the right arm. Starting from the top of the body, start by coming down, and then out, bend the arm, coming all the way down towards the wrist. Let's add some fur across the wrist. Pulling this up, and I'll continue to add these curves going towards the outside of the wrist. And then going back to the shoulder, I'm just going to tape the arm so it gets wider as we come down towards the wrist. Now we're going to add the hand. Starting underneath the wrist on the inside, curve the hand coming down and in, round up the hand, and just pull that up towards the thumb. Let's add the thumb. Going out and then up, round up the thumb, come in and up underneath the wrist. Now we're going to separate out the fingers starting with the palm. Start with a curve, going up and out, and we'll add two curves, coming down towards the bottom. Now we're going to grab a few markers and I'll show you how to color this in. We're going to start with our red and fill in the lips. 
on the outside. And then with our yellow, we'll fill in the hands and the feet. I use a light blue to fill in that bow. And then fill in the tongue with this pink. And we'll fill the rest of the body with this medium blue. And as we get near the end, we'll finish off our coloring and always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw and color Huggy Wuggy from Poppy Playtime. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your request in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.